versatility and the chemistry is going to have to be on point for Georgia Tech. They force a turnover. Coleman on the run. Feeds it ahead. Look out below. The length has to show up in terms of tipping balls and getting it ahead. Great look ahead. Miles Kelly send it in. Miles Kelly, Jagged's leading scorer so far. Reverse lay in. Oh, that was pretty. You know, know your role, know your strengths, and play to them. You know, I like him in dribble drive situations, posting up a smaller guard. Each of the first five games until Coach Passer took a change or made a change following the Fort Myers tip off. Miles Kelly, another three. Yes! Another look at the three pointer from Kelly. Nice shot by Kelly. Tremendous athletically, plays above the rim. He can affect the game on both sides of the ball. Another turnover. Kelly wide open, spaces, dumps it home. And Miles Kelly's got a game high eight points. For sophomore from Birmingham, Alabama, and Miles Kelly. And they scramble down low and out of there with it. Here's Davon Smith and Georgia Tech. Got to get back into the corner. Kelly a catch and shoot. You don't want to waste unnecessary time. They're not trapping. Just push it up and get in your offense. It's already slowing you down enough. You saw the note a moment ago. Georgia with a terrific night from their bench again. Howard left open. Now Kelly. Great Quick find. bounce pass. Howard the dunk. Great find by Kelly. Kelly's really come on. He's... Holman trying to negotiate his way into the paint, but he stops. Kelly working on Black. Scoops it up and in. Very difficult shot. The crowd here at the Smith Center urging the Tar Heels to go on another long run. Kelly off the window for two. I love the way Miles Kelly's playing right now. Jordan Mecca, Miles Kelly in for the Yellow Jackets. And Roland McCoy making his first appearance today for Alabama State. Dave on Smith, how good is that ankle? They're starting five from the first half out. Rodney Howard and Kyle Sturdivant, the seniors who have been coming off the bench the last five, six games. All of a sudden, a chance today, and they have responded. Rodney Howard. Josh Pastner likes to say this is a team that doesn't have a star, but the star is the team. As Rodney Howard crashes to the rim, he's coming off the double-double over the weekend. Godfrey working out of the high post. Has it go through his legs, and it comes to Moore. Pull up three, Kelly, yes. And again, you see Kelly right there, has some space, is able to knock it down. And Tony Bennett, a little frustrated with McGeeley. He had an open shot and he didn't shoot it. Kelly to the basket and scores on Cedric. Well, Beekman, he gets this turnover because now the shot clock is running down. McNeely had a shot and didn't take it, and Shedrick's trying to get back. But we told you about how dynamic Miles Kelly can be. That's a 6'11 guy. He's challenged every now and again. Clark trying to put it in play. Got deflected. Nicely done by Franklin. Georgia Tech with the turnover. Here's Sturdivan. Kick out Kelly three. Well, and again, Wes, he is down the court looking to shoot the three. Georgia Tech shoots 44% as a team. Body of work this season. That's 12th in the conference. That's from close range. And it's two more for Howard. With a high arcing three. You can see no green jerseys at all on the offensive glass there. Georgia Tech three-pointer. Miles Kelly had his third of the ball game. You've got to have a bit of an angle if you're going to go buy it. I'll tell you what, I mean, Georgia Tech has had some very good looks from the three. And, you know, for Miami, they may be. Georgia Tech, Mike, has not missed so far. Four of four, and that includes three three-point baskets. Kelly reversing field and laying it in. Inadvertent whistle. Our officials, Bill Covington Jr., Jeffrey Clark, and Trey Styons. That's ridiculous. Kelly and Miles Kelly. Is six for six and four for four. That happened so fast, I don't even know if the crowd understood what happened. Yeah, Kelly, he hits another one in the lane. Against Florida State, 13 turnovers for 18 points for the nose, but a great start in this one. Well, Kelly way downtown, he can do that all day. He's 40% beyond the three-point line, and it comes straight to the Yellow Jackets. 
as mentioned, they're not a great three-point shooting team, only 33%. That's what they like to do more of, and it's Franklin again. Well, Miles Kelly's so dangerous from beyond a three-point arc, you have to pay him a significant amount of attention when he has the basketball in his hand, pick and roll. The team, the opposing team is leaving you open for a reason. They want you to take that shot. Easy bucket for Miles Kelly. The turnover from DJ Burns allowing Kelly to get out in transition. A nice find to Franklin. The finish. No good for Edwards. That blocked by Davon Smith right to the side of Ted Valentine's head. And another long range shot. Miles Kelly. Jackets were working on the. Press break and practice yesterday. And it looked a little bit like this. Tech, you see Syracuse doing a good job. They had Smith locked up. But Smith not panicking, realized he's got a wide open Franklin. Kelly's able to get behind that zone. Well, Weston, he's got eight rebounds, so he could finish the game with a double-double. Yep. Moore slips it to Kelly. And through traffic, Miles Kelly scores. Leading score in the losing effort at Notre Dame on Saturday with 14 points. Mike James was six of eight from the floor and canned a couple of threes against the Irish. This is Kelly wants a three and he hits it. It'll be great for these guys. They need to get easy buckets. They don't want to sit here and go against half court. Or some turnovers like that will be great. Kelly hey! off the pick. Not to retrieve it, Miles Kelly. Part of this very talented softball class, but they. And this one banked off and good. Smith backs it out. Terry moves in. Nice pass. Reverse is good. That those two guys would be important against Armando Baycott and company. Marsh got a piece of it, but Kelly sticks with it. And he's got a chance at three. He's been doing it all year long, finding guys, making teammates better. And here, just coming up with the loose ball there, Miles Kelly. Gotta get you some too. We gotta yeah, get you yeah. some old Jenkins. when you get out of here, man. Subtle nod. Yeah. Me. Kelly. Hello. Oh. Those are the decisions. Those are the decisions that are hurting him. And there it is on the other side. Jalen Moore sending shockwaves through the peak. Good penetration by Mike James. Again, force the defense to collapse. You got Jalen with his wide open. You see Kelly with a quick response. To the floor, you saw him absorb that charge, and then again come down, strike a pole. Kelly brings it up, goes around his defender, oh, up and nice. under. Played in the NCAA tournament. Mm -hmm. Assistant coach, teammate of Dave Bain. Amazing. And another three, and this one for Georgia Tech comes from Miles Kelly, hitting a three, and then Miles Kelly does the same. Shot clock down again. Kelly inside Franklin for the slam. And he got fouled by Taylor. For the most part, it's been quiet, but uh, a terrific half for him. A chance to... Seven for 19 on threes his last four games. Sturdivant almost a steal by Pena. Kelly, Woo! beautiful shot. That was Kelly started it. NBA range, feet set, you can put it in the book. They have been trailing most of the day here in game one, ACC tournament, round number one. Kelly, all the way through with that left hand. Coming up on five minutes to play. Kelly pulls up and switches into three. Miles Kelly showing off his ability to shoot the basketball off the bounce. Start of it lead. Franklin almost traveled. Kelly will give Georgia Tech the lead.